Your research focuses on understanding the role of T cells in control or elimination of viral pathogens, including HIV. Um, why do you focus on today T cells and why are they important for cellular mediated HIV immunity? So, so in the context of, of HIV, uh, CA T cells have been known for a very long time to, to play a key role in control of, of viral uh, uh, replication. Uh, so seminal studies uh, as long ago as 1986, 87, first by Jay Levy and then by Bruce Walker and Doug Nixon defined that, that CDA T cells can eliminate or control uh, viral replication uh, of HIV. And since then, um, my lab, as well as many others, have, have defined various parameters um, of the CD8 T cell response to HIV that, that are clearly related to control of HIV. And um, in general, CD8 T cells are, are the strongest correlate of, of, of protection from disease progression. It's not to say that other aspects of the immune system are unimportant, but as a single factor, um, CD8 T cells uh, in an infected person and in, in, in infected uh, animals uh, are clearly associated with ongoing uh, control of viral replication. So immune profiling of cellular mediated immunity has primarily focused on the blood and now there's a shift in terms of research into looking at other aspects of where ongoing viral replication happens or where the entry of the virus occurs. Why is it important to study immune profiles in lymphoid tissue? So, as, as has actually been known for quite some time, um, the predominant site of viral application is in lymphoid tissue and CD4 T cells uh, in particular, of course, um, that, are, that are found in lymphoid follicles. And this is the work of, of uh, Jeffy Pantaleo many years ago and, and followed up by Liz Connick um, and more recently uh, by us and others, um, all of which clearly shows that, that dominance of viral application is taking place in lymphoid tissue. And, and the paper, recent paper by Jake Estes and, and Tim Shacker, uh, very clearly showed the, the uh, association of, of viral application in, in lymphoid tissues um, with the blood being just a very small contribution uh, towards that. Um, yesterday, as one of the highlights of your talks, is that you showed key differences between immune profiles in, the, in blood is that peripheral blood mononuclear cells and lymphatics? What were those key profiles and also do you see differences in um, CD8 T cell functionality? There's a couple of things that, to, there. First of all, um, when we, th it, it's, it's a difference between the blood and lymphatics and also a difference between blood and lymphoid tissues itself. Mm -hmm. And and so, so if we think about the lymphoid tissues, um, we found, um, that, that there is a, a, I don't want to call it a deficiency at this point, but, but a, a regulation of cytotoxic aspects of CD8 T cells in lymphoid tissues. And, and uh, I believe that this is a, a it's a, a design in the system to prevent destruction of, of antigen presenting cells in lymphoid tissues. Mm -hmm. um, and, and, and in a sense, HIV takes advantage of this. And so, so what we found recently was that, that when we look at lymphoid tissues, uh, we find HIV-specific CD8 T cells there. This was uh, published in a recent paper in Science Immunology. Uh, there we focused on an observation that uh, the cells in lymphoid tissue have markers of resident memory T cells, um, which is a, a type of tissue resident cell uh, uh, that selectively remains in those tissues. So that's the idea of them. And in, in the setting here in lymphoid tissues where the virus is replicating, it seems that um, their frequency uh, correlates the higher, the higher frequency of these resident memory HIV specific T cells you have in lymph nodes, uh, you have a better, seem to have a better disease prognosis. Mm -hmm. And so, so the next part of this then becomes uh, the lymphatics. And so, so when cell, if cells can leave the lymph node, um, they will enter lymphatics. And, and so the idea of looking at lymphatics uh, now will allow us to, to look at cells that have left the blood but are passing through the tissue and are on route back to the blood. And so, so by looking there, we were looking at cells that have, have passed through, have possibly been involved in, in interacting with an, an HIV-infected cell in the mm -hmm. city of HIV. 
the striking thing that we see there is that compared to peripheral blood where you can find cytotoxic CD8 subsets readily, there's a, there's a, a very uh, clear absence of cytotoxic CD8 subsets uh, in lymphatic fluid, implying that those cells that we measure in the blood that, that, that have killing function are, are unable to efficiently exit the peripheral blood and enter tissues to return through the system back to, to uh, the peripheral blood after, after being in the tissues. Okay. Um, thank you so much for thank the you. interview. Thank you.